Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how you can set up a simple program in Crimson 3.2 to check your communications uh, RS-45 ports to make sure they're working correctly. So in this application, I have a DA-70 with uh, two RS-45 ports on the DA-70 and I also have a dual port RS-45 sled in here as well. So for instance, if I go over here to device configuration and on device configuration if I click on sleds and you can see right here that I've got a dual 45 card in slot number one uh, for my sleds. So I've got that set up and then if I go over to communications here you can see right here that in this case I have the first RS-45 port that's on the DA-70 I have it configured as a master. It's going to be, I'm using Modbus for this test. So I've got it set up as a Modbus master. And below there, I've got set up uh, one client here, which is client number one. Uh, you'll notice the number one right there. If I click on client number two, you can see there's drop client number two. And then I've got drop number three right here, which is drop number three. Those three devices are underneath the first 45 port that's going to act as the Modbus uh, client in this case or master. Then what I've done is I've taken the other 45 ports right here and I've configured them all as RTU slave modes or servers. So here on the second 45 port that's on the DA70, I've got it set up as a Modbus slave here or a server. And here's the device. And then I've set up a gateway block underneath here. I'm going to map some tag into a holding register just to make that guy sound uh, look like a server. That's what it's going to do. And then if I click on uh, 45 port, uh, the next one down, let me shrink this down. This guy here is server number two. Notice, I didn't say this, but there's the number two. Let me go back to this one. And right here, see, there's number one. Uh, let me close that away. And then, if, or, of course, if I click on this one here, this one is set up as device number three. Same thing. I've got same blocks under all three of these. Let me shrink this down. So I'm taking the same, some random tag and I'm mapping to all three. Speaking of tags, if I go over here to data tags, and you can see I've got one tag here that's yellow. This one's yellow because it's a formula tag. It's just going to generate a random number. And then I've got these other three tags that if you look, they're mapped to the different clients. There's the first one. If I click on this one, it's set up as client number two. And this one is set up client three. Of course, you can do that by clicking here and set up. They're all mapped to the same 40,001 in device one, two, and three. And then for visualization, if I go over here, here's my simple display page I've got running on this thing. So we're going to see this work. So I'll go ahead and download this to the unit real quick. There we go. And if I go over to the web page right here, so here's the web page. Here's the random tag running right now. Here's the three client tags. Now they're all dashed lines right now because I'm not connected to them. Now what I'm using is a standard Ethernet cable going from one 45 port to the other. So if I take my Ethernet cable and plug it into the second RS-45 port that's on the DA-70, here I'll go. I'm going to plug it in. One, two, three. Click. Look. Now you can see that this one's getting the random number from this guy. That's that number there. I'll go ahead and disconnect it from that port. It should time out. Of course, you can, adult, you can adjust these timings. So there's dash lines. Now I'm going to plug it into the first port that's on the RS-45 sled. Boom, click. And now you can see the number. By the way, when I'm doing this, I'm getting a fast red and green LEDs blinking on both ports at the same time. Okay, so I'll disconnect that guy. And it should time out. There it is. And now I'm going to plug it into the third or the second port on my dual RS-45 port. There it is. And there's the number. So as I move this from any port to whatever, it will pick back up. So if I go to this one, that's that guy again. And I'll go to the sled. Boom. And I'll get... By the way, when I'm not connected... Right now, I'm not connected. Only the green LED is blinking on the first port that's set up as the Modbus Master. Only the green LED is blinking. Once I plug it into the other, I get the green for receive traffic. And so now I can see the red and green on both 
and uh, works great. So I've tested in this case that my 45 ports works great on all four of the ports I have. Very simple test. I just use a standard Ethernet cable to go from the RJ45 jacks that are on the RS45 ports. So anyway, that's a simple test to uh, make this happen, and I thought I'd share it with you. The trick or the key is over here in communications, you have to set up blocks under your servers because you're going to make that guy act as a Modbus device. So the key is I've set up a block here. I've got it mapped to 40,001, and then I've just basically I've taken this tag right here, and I drag and drop it right here, boom. And I've done that on all three of these sections here. I share the same random tag right there. So that's what shares the data, and that's what allows uh, on the display page for these fields to populate when they're plugged in. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. I've tested these ports, and now I'm 100% confident that my RS-45 ports work correctly on the product I have here. From here, if I'm getting dashed lines, then i got to check either my settings on the device I'm pulling, or maybe I'm looking at the wrong Modbus or some registers in that device. could be a different protocol, but nonetheless, I've proven that my RS-45 ports work correctly. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.